Match One Podcast, not nothing. And you are not tuned in with the Match One Podcast. Man, Match One Podcast. If you ain't Match One, nigga, you dap one, man. You did what I'm saying. Hey, man. Roll one, smoke one. It's the Match One Podcast. Match One, Match One Podcast, number one podcast station. You already know it's Match One. Better Match Two if you're ready, though. Come on. <laughs> Match one podcast, man. Shout out to my man Zeus and T D and this motherfucker, man. Scrap life, scrap love, man. Y'all know what it is. I'm fucked up with these niggas, man. <laughs> match one bitch. Oh, match one, man. Fam, C time shit, man. Tune it in. Real topics. Good energy, man. And we ain't here matching one with the match one podcast. Shout out to y'all, man. I'm high as a motherfucker. Scrap okay. life. Scrap love. All my niggas smoking green, yelling out match one. And you're now tuned in with match one. Let's get it. But I be having a lit damn <clears throat> battery die in the motherfucker. Check y'all. Check your mic. If you. Feeling like loving me. I was listening to that last night. All right, uh, I mean, but that kind of fuck up my whole thing. I thought you should use that song. But I can't use that song now because you just. Cause I know that you feeling like love. <laughs> For the record, that wasn't a '90s song either. It really was. No, because you always pointed out when I do it. I mean, I wasn't doing it for a nine song. It was just. But you just took my segment. Like, that's what I come in. I come in singing the whole song. I thought it was Mike Chick. But, I mean, she, you, you kind of was singing. It might well keep the shit going now. Like, it'd be retarded to. Well, I did the song this week. Hey! But it's my thing. True. So maybe you should be King Jordan Diddy. No, no. No. That, that, I don't want to do that either. But you took my thing. Let's me. switch places. That's okay. That's okay. Because we traded no, that's places. Like, that's like 2008-ish or some shit. Okay. But with that said, I'm going to randomly sing a song throughout the show anyway, somewhere. But you took the beginning of the song from me, and that's cool. You know, sometimes as like the Beyonce of the group, when it comes to the singing, it's a part of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's okay to, you know, step back and let somebody else lead every now and then. Wait, 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 wait. So who voted you Beyonce? Hmm? When, when did you become Beyonce of the group, I though? just became Beyonce because I always been the lead singer. So where would that lead me? Like, Michelle or somebody? Ke- hmm. Kelly? At, at best, Kelly. Oh, because no. You, because, you you know, you can, uh-huh. you can drop Hold a on. single. Wait, 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 You wait, can wait, drop wait, a wait, single, wait. but I'm saying wait. I've been the no. lead singer. Hold on. First of all, for the whole my biggest shit not going to be a song with a nigga like Nelly. First of all. You think it's her? Do you think it's her biggest song? Why ain't it? Hey, what would be her biggest song? Medicine? Is that her song? No, I, I don't even know what song you're talking about. Do I need my medicine song? Is that Kelly Rowland? Yeah, that is Kelly yeah. Rowland. Yeah. But that's got to be the biggest song. Huh? What's that? So this shit have a song that long ago, like the oh, damn, I can't even think of it now. And that's who I'm supposed to be. Okay, maybe the motherfucker okay, who okay, saw okay, you can't okay, even think Okay, of. how about this? How about this? How about this? I apologize for comparing this to Destiny Child. Right, we need to go with some more even facts. I got it right here. I was Bobby Brown. Nah, nah, hold on. No, no, no. No. <laughs> Minus the crap. No. Because at best, I could be like Johnny Gill, but he's gay. Well, you could be the whole band Bill DeVoe. Definitely not. They had like two songs. Oh, man. Okay, okay. We, we, we got to come up with a group then. Bill Bill DeVoe was just like a meantime shit. They ain't had but two songs. So, so I'm not sure what. Wait, pause all that shit. Let's introduce ourselves before we get into that debate. Good morning. It's your boy Zeus, aka Thunder, aka Let's Go, aka. I forgot my shit just then. That's a good aka. Nah. It's Zeus, aka. AKA, it's AKA Zeus, I forgot my AKA shit. AKA Thunder, AKA Let's Go. AKA Little Motherfucking Geek, AKA Mr. Orde, Low Guy, Sink Guy, Yano. Until you come on the show, OG Lou. And even when you come on the show, I'm still going to do that. Because I know he's going to still try to call me out on my Spanish when he come on the show. Mm-hmm. But I want to go ahead and just keep pointing out to him that I know I'm saying the shit wrong. And my Dominican, my Dominican family members is okay with me saying it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, go ahead. Introduce yourself because I'm OG Luke. And I go by King Jordan Diddy. AKA. Nah, welcome to the Matt One Podcast. You just want to do the AKAs, huh? Yeah. 
I feel like we should switch places this week. You no, know? Man, no. I don't want I, to I had a few AKAs in mind. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Okay, okay. Before we get into anything, let's get back to what we were discussing. What group would we be? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I was the least saying I feel like we need a group that we're more equal members. Maybe like, um... Like a duo? What? What is that good? Let's be Jodeci. Because Jodeci technically had two lead singles. So we Casey and JoJo now. Okay, I can take that. All right, okay. I can take that. Because no, JoJo is what? as successful as Casey. Because majority of their songs are together. together. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Okay, I can ride with it. Because they do switch up lead singing every night. Kelly is the equivalent to Dalvin. You see what I'm saying? So Dalvin might technically. Uh, oh, no, that's the other nigga. I'm thinking about Devontae. That's yeah. the nigga that did the beats. Yeah, he's more successful than Kelly. Okay. And probably 80% of people who know who Jodeci is don't even know them two names. Because they're the other two niggas in the group. Right. I mean, niggas know Devontae. I don't think niggas know For niggas. a long time, it, it, I, it took me a while to even realize that it was four niggas in Jodeci. Because Devontae yeah, and Dalvin was but, the same nigga to but me see, for a but while. But see, think about this, though. In the Jodeci shit, you know Devontae was always a nigga with that. Ah, ah. The other nigga, I really didn't know his name until you said. I don't know what that one of them sound like. The freak give up and down, Devontae. Oh, he was doing, yeah, he was doing the goddamn yeah. Ralph Transamp shit. Well, uh, not Ralph Trans- he was doing the Roger Trans- Chapman yeah. shit. He was doing uh, auto-tune. Yeah. Yeah, I know he did the beats and shit, but, but I'm saying, that's him what I'm and the other nigga was one person to me for a while. I, I kind of don't know. I kind of feel like they they like they spliced off each other. Yeah, but they, I think they brothers though. I think they are brothers. I think they're like twins. But I mean, like, Jodeci was always a three man group to me until it was pointed out that it was a fourth member. Okay. Because what did he do? He was just. If you think about a lot of groups that had multiple members in them, what did all of them do? True. You know? Like, what the tall, light skinned nigga do in New Edition? The dancing nigga. He was in BBD, right? That nigga. Yeah. What the fuck do he do? Just he rapped back in the he day. He really didn't sing. He rapped on they rapping shit. Yeah. Show. Yeah, he had a few verses. But, but like how how I mean you gotta think important was he to the group. If you think about all singing groups, you gotta have just that one nigga in the group. Yeah, true. You like you I mean, look at Drew Hill, they, the they have interchangeable members. But all one nigga has been swapped out two times. That was Woody, because he left and went to do that gospel shit. Right. But, but remember when they had the song when they be walking down the stair the whole video? Damn, what's the song? Um, um, you know I said that you can leave me. Okay. That song. Yeah, okay. Oh, what about it? Who the fuck was the nigga in the group then? Because that's not oh, the same yeah, that nigga. nigga now, the not, he had braids and shit. Yeah, yes, that's not the same nigga who I was love you. It's the song you was. Right. You, when they came back with that new album, he was the new with nigga. The first comeback. I don't the know first new nigga. That's why I say that guy. It can't be that new nigga though. That's not the same nigga that's in the but group. But this now. nigga be saying like he been around there for a long ass time. That's what I'm saying. Who the fuck is Andrew Hill? Know. How many members is there? I mean, do you really think of anybody besides Cisco? Cisco, Jazz. And the fat nigga. Jazz. I don't even like. I don't even think a majority of people know his name. But he just the fat he nigga. Just the fat. Cause he can sign. Okay. You know what I mean? Cause for a while he was um, Ruben Studdard of me. You thought him, you thought Ruben Studdard was him? Yes. I felt like he had a. I felt like American he just, Idol. I felt like he went, you know, and started his solo career on American Idol. You know what I mean? And I fucks with Ruben Studdard, especially that first album. Bought it, know it front to back. Shout out to Drew Hill though, man. Drew Hill was the first group to have a fat nigga. No, come on, bro. You, you tripping? You got to go back, nigga. Man at Large was a fucking group. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Gerald Levert was in a group. Oh yeah, that's right. Come that's on, right. The Leverts, the Leverts. That was a group, but that was a group of fat niggas. You see what I'm saying? Oh, they were fat. But it's group. I'm just saying it's in the, group in that the, had in the time. Though. See, but that's back in the time where R.B. singing yeah. mattered. Okay, the song was the shit that mattered. In the Drew Hill era, it was the sexy shit. And so the groups okay. were trying about, to be sexy. Like the Jodeci's. The right. Brothers, you know what I'm saying? Got, Everybody got, trying to be sexy. So there wasn't no fat niggas in the group then. That's some real good shit, though. I never thought of that, though. So shout out to them. You know? For breaking barriers, man. Drew Hill brought fat back. If it wasn't for Drew Hill, it wouldn't be no Ruben Stutter. I don't know. Jaheim. He will love the other side. When he first came out, that nigga like he straight out the goddamn... Straight out the joint, though. Cause, True. Like, 
True. That nigga look like he was fresh. Like, when I first seen that, could it be the ice? I was like, this nigga just did time. And he ain't just do time because I, I just. He sound like a nigga that did time. He, he, he don't he. Who sang with that tone of voice? You know? He just, I mean, I'm just saying, maybe this he never did no time. Though. Maybe How do you figure no out that you can sing when your voice is that tone? I don't know. But maybe he never did no time. So, Jaheen, whenever you come on the show, I'm going to ask you, did you do Why the time? fuck would he come on the show? Because you wouldn't want Jaheen. If we had no. an opportunity to bring Jaheen on the show, because Jaheen, the singer, you wouldn't no. bring. Okay. I, I can't even think of a question to ask him. Other than, like, when that week, what they have. Okay, first of all. Why was he gay? First of all, first of all. For them two, what for that week? First of all. Why was he gay that week? Okay, we can count. I wouldn't even think about that. I talked more about his career. He had a lot of big songs. He had a couple. Okay, but I wouldn't say a lot. I think he had a couple. Maybe two. He had more than two. Mm-hmm. Put that woman first. Put that woman first. Could it be? You don't think could it be? No, that wasn't his big, a big, big song. Like put that woman first. That was just a single. Mm-hmm. Was a he was single. on the song with Nelly. What song with Nelly? Yeah. Won't you come on and go? Come on and go. Oh, and go. that was a classic right there, though. Come on, but that was another big song. Blade, but that was a classic though. Blade. That nigga said, come on and go with me. He said, hey. I like that song. I ain't got shit, though, because I just can't think at this very second. What happened to all the fat singers? Is there a fat singer right now? Not that I can think of, bro. We need a fat singer. You you want a dancing rapper and a fat singer? We definitely need a fat singer. Male. A fat male singer. We we don't have a fat male singer. At all. Was Ruben the last one? The last big one. What happened to Dave Hollister? No pun intended. Yeah. Uh, what happened to Dave Hollister? You see what I'm saying? But Dave went off a while ago, too. True. I mean, I'm pretty... No, wait, 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 let me say this. We can't say these singers falling off. We just said we're not checking for them anymore. Because True. they do be having True. projects and shit out. And Motai, that's we right. looking for you, Motai. I've been looking for you on social media. We looking for you, Motai. Anybody that's listening to us right now that knows Motai... Tell Motai we are OG Luke shout out OG Luke too called OG Luke trying we, we really trying to get Motai right right so <laughs> I just feel like Motai like a, a hotel manager now okay fuck all that but <laughs> we, we really want to try to get Motai on the show because we want to ask some questions right Motai is the motherfucker you said I mean I really have many questions to ask but, you him, but I like the song okay okay stop. I like the song. wait 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 let's stop saying questions to ask motherfuckers because when we on the podcast most of the time we try not to ask we, we ask certain questions and then a lot of the time motherfuckers start talking and we just start getting the more questions to come because we, we true, true, true like true. let's not say that because anybody we bring on the show they're not we're gonna ask them a few questions because we're supposed no, to that's, it, it, he has an interesting you know I got a few questions to ask him we you know what I mean I bet all of these artists that we don't think about they got an interesting ass stories if we sat down and talked to them I mean everybody has an interesting story true whether or not you want to hear the shit is the question but that's what I'm saying whether we, or not it's it, I'm interested We wouldn't know If we wanted to listen to it Until we sat down And talked with them motherfuckers That's all I'm saying Maybe I'm just saying bro We gonna have a lot of motherfuckers Reaching out for us on the show And I'm not really Unless you know Especially Especially if they been like that Jaheemish But Motai We want Motai anyway Yeah I fuck, I fuck with Motai That's one of my All time Favorite love songs So Looking for love Anybody who's never heard it Motai Looking for love Go on YouTube Look the shit up It's a beautiful song man It gonna make you wanna cry the first five me, times. I don't, so I, don't I heard. Make me want to want to cry, but I kind of can see. It'll make you want to. So look, we already got really fun to show. I, I know you don't care about this, but mm-hmm. happy belated white oh, man Christmas Day, whatever oh, you want to call it to you. Uh, did yeah. You, did you? You know how was it? Was happy it? day that was that the white man told you to celebrate. With that said, I know as you get older. You know, I'm supposed to expect gifts and shit, you know, right? Mm-hmm. But is it just you, or is it like since you have kids, like the parents just like just get you some shit? Like they don't even right. put thought into it no more. Right. Right. Like definitely. here you go. I'm definitely on a six year run of like t shirts and socks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on a six year trip. I, I kind of want to I get call, shit like cologne. I want to call, you know what I'm Cologne and deodorant. I, I, I'm with look. Shot, shoe. I mean, like shout, socks and t shirts. Shout and, out to my mama. I mama, look, what you trying to tell look, me? Look, I shout out to my mama, though. I love them to death, right? 
Okay, you know, we get four gifts probably as since we parents and we got older, right? You get four? Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna flip. But, but this is what I'm saying, though. Out of those four, it's like she might get me some good shit, like the cologne. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my mom mm-hmm. for the cologne. She got me a few work shirts, you know? Right. Shout right. out. But they kind of like, you know, she kind of like was in the store at the lab, me in the crib, like, oh, let me grab this shit for myself. Like, right, this type right, of shirts right. I feel. You right. know, shout out to her and my, my stepdad. Like, oh, know? shit, these shirts, $7. Let you me know, grab two. Like, maybe $3. Right, you know? yeah, I'm aware yeah. because my mom right, got me right, my shirts. Right, right. Right, right. So, it is. You got like, like they get you that one gift. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. But I don't know. I, mean, I know in their head. That's when I'm really sure. I'm, I'm really sure that they are at the counter, about to leave, and it's like, yeah. hey, yo, this shit right here on clearance. Like, once you're an adult from your parents, you get either, oh shit, let me grab them some gifts, or you get, why not gifts? You know what I'm saying? So if your parent is in the store and see a shirt or something on sale for two or three dollars, why not? You know what I mean? I'm gonna get this for Christmas. This is Christmas present. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, I just feel like, me personally speaking, my mom puts a lot of effort into the gifts for the grandkids now. That right. I don't even think I got as a child right, right. from her. Y'all feel a certain type of way. I don't think parents even like I don't even think they care about the shit they buy us. You know what I'm saying? Once you're an adult. I don't even think they care no more. Like, No, no, no. I get that. Not even to the adult. Listen to what I'm saying, though, bro. I think even as I was coming up, my mama might have got shit like, oh, I think he liked this shit. You know, good shit back when I was a kid. Right, right. But what I'm saying is the effort and time that I've seen her put into the gift for the grandkids all these years. Right. What I mean by... In, like she's like okay yo he want uh, for instance back then let's say she want to give me a playstation right mm-hmm. she'll know to go to the store hey let me get the playstation right, right. bam whatever game you know, let me get the games just give him some shit I know he'll play that type the of shit the thing right? about it wait is- wait wait, wait. you gonna make me forget go ahead so now let's say she was going to go get them a playstation it'd be more like hey What's the best PlayStation out here? Which games would you recommend? Right. You know, right, hey, right. let me look online and see if this is great. What's the newest? Yeah, you know, like, hey, I think they would love this. Not even just getting the gifts. She tests the gifts out with them. She opens the gifts on, like so it was. Open the gifts on Christmas with them, and you she know? playing with them. My mama not playing my toys with me coming up. Mm-hmm. You see this shit? I see it. I, I just had to get it out my chest, man. I just I had to get it out my chest. I got man. Sonic. I got Sonic in two thousand for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> you know what I mean? I understand. I really understand. And then they just go out their way for their grandkids. I think like <coughs> once your mama know you fucking, <laughs> I think that's when like gifts stop. You, you think when, I don't even think it's when it's when your mama know you fucking, bro. Not not that once you're of age to fuck. I mean, like once there's no doubt in your mama mind, like yeah, he fucking. You know what I'm saying? Gifts like, stop. Gifts stop. Hey, oh, it is. You can count some cream. I'm just saying, mama. Thank you for my gifts, though. Shout out to my mama. I love my mama, dude. But you know, just seeing the grandkids. I see, you know. Nigga, my mama bought me a iced out ass watch from a department store. Right? Uh-huh. And I'm just like, mama, when you even, when have you even seen me with some shit like this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what even gives you the, the, the thought that I would want something like this? This bitch icy, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Diamonds everywhere. Gold, diamonds and shit. Like mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck make you buy sh- why, why, why would you buy this? I know that bitch couldn't have been no more like $10, $7. You know what I'm saying? Just, I know you way. Like, yeah. yo. Oh, shit, these $7. This is nice. <laughs> you think about this? You think he will like this? It, it ain't even the thought. Because cause had she ran that by anybody. I think that would have been like, nah, I don't think you should get that. Anybody. You know what I mean? And, and maybe knowing her friends, you know, something like that. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, love that. That's what all not, the young guys not were. if she called my mama because my mama would agree. All the young guys were jury, nah. Listen to me. My mama would agree with whatever she got. Like, I bet, yeah. Hear me? Yep. Hell yeah, he'll love some thermal draw. <laughs> 
Like what the fuck what? Don't let They don't need to goddamn. Yeah you're right but yeah, shit like, like cologne, body wash. Hey, my mom got much cologne. My what you mom, trying to tell me, mama? Do I stink? You know? I never thought about it that way. Am I stinking, mom? Why I got why I got to get shampoo, body wash, cologne, axe spray. <laughs> I'm talking about the axe gift set. I got that too. You know what I'm saying? It about three sprays. It's spray with the body wash. All that. Yeah, I got <laughs> Like what you trying to say, Did mom? Did you get the blue one? Nah, it's red and black. I'd have been mad if you got blue. Cause I'd be like, these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers plot. They wholesaler. They probably could have still plotted like, I'm going to get the blue when you get the red. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're about that shit? <laughs> nah, they ain't right there. Nah. <laughs> but shout out to the mama. Shout out to the mama, man. I shout thank out. you for the years of the good gifts. Yeah. Before you knew I was fucking. Before you knew I was fucking. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Technically, this is going to be our last episode of the year. We had a pretty great year, man. Oh, no. You know, but well, we had a pretty great, great 2017 as far as downloads or you know, shit of that nature. Shout out, so shout out to Shout out to everybody. We didn't have no shout out session, but shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to all our listeners, subscribers, everybody, everybody, everybody. Uh, followers, and all that good shit. Everybody. Uh, make sure we shout out Scrap Radio, man. You know shout out to Scrap Radio. Everybody. Do. Scrap Radio every Tuesday. Starting 2018, you only got like a week to go, you know what I'm saying? And the scraps will be back, you know what I'm saying? I think the scraps will be with us. I think we. Matter of fact, first episode of the year yeah, might be the scraps. Scrap. We lining it up, you know what I'm saying? But Scrap Radio, C Sam, just motherfucking Ray, every Tuesday, 8 p.m., Spreaker Network, man. Y'all pull up the app, download the app, go online. You can go on C Sam, Facebook page, anything like that. She always post a link where you can just That's go weird. directly to it. You can go on Twitter. What's her Twitter? I don't like know, Queen, TCC Queen, TCC Queen, I think. TCC I don't, Queen, something I don't like that. I don't know, Sam, my bad. I don't yeah, know. but but definitely. Yeah, she got those cups. I, I'm getting a cup from you. Day. I'm definitely getting a cup from you, Sam. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely getting one from you. I feel like my cup should come with some drinking. Okay, so uh, shout out to the whole Choche. Can I get a cup with some drink? Shout out to old Choche. Uh, Black, go download that Black R- Legacy. Right download now. the Black CD, man. Download that damn project and the download off days ain't off. Download all that. I said it just or just dropped too that video. Did I just say CD? You did say CD. Damn. You got it. You know. Download. Download all, the all, CD. All, all of your streaming platforms. Stream, stream, stream. Stream, stream. And check us out on all your streaming platforms. Check out voices of hip hop dot com, rap hippies dot com. Uh, and we linking up with the rap hippies in twenty eighteen. Shout out to the rap hippies. So y'all get ready for that. That's gonna be one of the I think best debates that we have like in a while because I just know the you guys are so different that it's gonna be so interesting yeah you know so shout out to them oh. and the ad whooping they got coming I mean why we gotta call it an ass whooping because I don't lose debates does anybody need like a judge in this shit like, I don't I- lose debates the people gonna be the judge, but I don't lose debates. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna clearly win all debates where we don't even need a judge because motherfucker in the end gonna be like, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Or you're not gonna be able to dispute me, so you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the route hippies, my nigga. High salt with it, dope. Okay. My salt gonna be low though. We gonna lower them salt, buddy. Kendrick what Lamar listening. What if you don't even wear? What if you don't even wear? High salt. Man, that's. Oh, um, a good pick for a night. I mean, you don't I'm wear high But shout out to the rap people. Uh, anybody else though? Everybody. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody. The world. <clears throat> but yeah, man. This is the last episode of the year for it. Yeah. We had a good little 2017. Over. I appreciate 2017, but uh, fuck you. You're in the rear. Anything about 2017? We got to talk about some shit from 2017, though. Um, It was the year after 2016. We definitely did. Definitely. It was the year before 2018. Was anything like. Stand out as this year though, cause like Donald Trump became president. Donald Trump was president this year. You know, that was that I'm was that, that, that did happen. You, you know, that's pretty big. That, that was that was humongous, and it's still big to this day. Right, I guess he's still being Donald Trump. If you can't say anything else about the, the guy, he's being Donald Goddamn Trump. He's a rich white man. <laughs> that he was, or oh, he is still. Rich, racist, white man. With with any, uh, exception of one, all the rest of the presidents were the same. So why does it matter? 
You gonna pick one rich white racist over the other? Is is it anything in 2017? Like, did you have a, a good a good album in 2017? Hey. I mean, like. I mean, the goat Kendrick dropped the album. I know he dropped the, the album. goat. I ain't gonna even get. I, damn it! I forgot the goddamn OJ Cole the other goat. He did drop the, drop the album. Y'all you know, did. Well, Jay-Z, what about Jay Z? Yeah. As the years go on, the goats get weaker and weaker. But what about Jay Z though? Did you like his album this year? I mean, yeah, the four 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 was hard. Hard. But I mean, I don't really. I'm even trying, if to, get I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of that epic shit though, like that shit that just. There's just some standoutish, real standout shit, man. Like, that's just, yeah, that's on the spot. So, what artist in hip hop would you say had the best year this year? Probably Cardi B. Definitely Cardi B. I, I, that's the only. I mean, I think Cardi Definitely B had a Cardi big B. year. You forget, like, throughout this year, we had Remy Ma versus Nicki Minaj. Like, when you start thinking about the shit that happened this year, it's kind of like. Damn, that shit did happen this year, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. We had Drake and Meek this year, really. Not really. It was like not the latter part of last year, but it spilled over into this year. Not really. Kind of did. Nah, I think that shit really ended like last year. You think so? Yeah, yeah, because Drake, yeah, it had to end like last year. Drake had more life come out this year. We forget about that. That did drop. <laughs> that came out yeah, this no, year. Yeah, that was big. That, that was big. Year, yeah. That was big for about a week. I mean, that's the problem with music now, dog. Like, it's so much of it. It's so... Consume so quick. It's too accessible. Yeah, it's too accessible, and we consume it real quick. And it's some good music out there, though. It's too accessible. It's too accessible, and it's too saturated. Twenty one had a big year. Twenty one had a great year. I get twenty one. I think twenty one had a really. really he had a great year. A good, yeah, I can get twenty one. We had a great year. Um, Nicki Minaj. How, what is your feelings about her year? Nicki Minaj probably had the worst year. Of her I kinda she had the worst year of her career this year, definitely. Yeah, she was saved twice this year. Yo Gotti and that motorsport because she yeah she was saved she twice. She definitely this year. got saved. She got a lifeboat twice. Let's see what 2018 holds for her. That's crazy when you think about she it. She definitely had Yo Gotti saved her. Yo Gotti saved her a little bit. Yo Gotti he saved, he saved her, her in the latter part of the year. Mm hmm. Because right, it was a big song. She been say she been getting saved for a while though. Cause Chris Brown saved her. <clears throat> he saved toward me. Toward the then. end of her of the pink tour. What you mean? Well, like toward the end of the pink tour when everything jumped off, you know that me. shit. Yeah, that, well, that's you me. Know. Yeah. That mean you know. But I mean that Chris was really saved out of her slump too. Yeah, that was the beginning of her decline. Chris Brown saved both of them. Then. Yeah, Chris he Brown had an album. He had an album this year though. Chris Brown really saved me though. But is that considered this year? No. That's all I want to be considered nah, this year? Nah, it's going to be considered last year. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm considered that last year. So, uh, Chris Brown, what about his year? Pretty decent. He had a big year, but I mean, that's like, it's like it's that's consistent. Yeah. I think he had like a big right, year. You know what I'm saying? It's consistent decent. for a nigga like him. If he was a new artist that had the year that he had, then that'd be a great year, a big year. But with the year he had, you he know. He didn't really have like no big, big year to me, though. I feel like he had like a decent year. Like we heard about him and shit like that, but I don't feel like he had been like just. Oh no, Chris Brown oh. had some shit come out this he year. Yeah, I ain't saying he had no songs. But I'm saying like as far as his year go, I don't know. Cause I mean, I don't know. I'm I saying that's just because he's so big. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, maybe so. But you know who else had a big year? Sizzle. Sizzle had a fucking big year. Yeah, album came out all that type shit. That just the album, her songs. She found the album that was able to to withstand the um overnight shit, right? Because she had such big hits off of them throughout the year that niggas keep going back and listen to her album. True, true. She so definitely she had a big year. That did that. She had a big year, one of the biggest years. Cause this probably the biggest year. Well, this definitely the biggest year of her career. Yeah. Two thousand seventeen. Hands, Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. I know you don't want to hear this. What about DC Young Fly? He had a big year. He had a personally. big year. Personally. And I ain't saying, but because on here, on his, uh, watching him, yes. You know who else had a big year this year? Carlos Miller. If we talking about mm-hmm. these that had big year, um, you know, but on the special, Carlos Miller. Right, shout, right. shout out to Carlos. I think his uh, special coming out today or tomorrow. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely watching it, but shout out to Carlos. I like seeing that. You right, DC Young Fly did have a big year. see, that nigga had, he a, had a big, big year. year. He on TRL. So right, right, shit. right. He DC had a Young big, Fly, huge year. Movies and shit, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, so yeah. Tyrese. <laughs> because he found a way to stay. He real. had a very entertaining year. Entertaining year. Uh, yeah. So he, he, had he, had an entertaining he had a way to stay real. He found a way to stay real for a while for and all of she was alive. To that nigga. Like That nigga crazy, man. Yeah, we, we know that now. That nigga's crazy. Oh, uh, 2017, man. Oh, uh, we can't forget. This happened in 2017. We watched the Falcons choke. Yeah. I mean, nothing surprising. But... We watched KD win a ring. Yeah. KD won a ring and said 2017. Win a ring is a far stretch, but yeah, he got a ring. We watched Kyrie go from Cleveland to Boston. Bitch. You just hope you die. You still feel that way about him? Bro. I mean, I hope he breaks something. It's coming. It coming. But, he had a good night the other night, though. Oh, he was seen Clemson that. beat Alabama. Yeah, that was 2017. We seen Clemson beat Alabama. We're going to get to see Clemson and Alabama play really twice. Three times. This is the third time they played. But I'm saying this year, damn near, because it's the first day of next year. So really, that. But it's could... like he's been like that for the last three years, though. Straight. Yeah, like yeah, straight. Yeah. Cause you got, yeah, you see what I'm saying. So you see, Georgia have a great year. Georgia's having a, a great year. We need to have a, a great first day of the year. Right. We need to start 2018 like just. 2017 need to spill into 18 yes. for Georgia. It's, it definitely is. Roof, but, roof. What is it? What is we kind of seeing LeBron become the best LeBron we've seen thus far yeah, in 2017. I mean, I feel like it's too it's too painful to even talk about that nigga, man. You know, I ain't even gonna rub him and everybody face. Oh, uh, I know this is gonna be really hard with me saying this on the show, but I gotta say it. Something that was big this year, niggas cheat. Jay Z came out with the four four four, the whole Kevin Hart. Conspiracy. I mean, all that's calculated though, so I wouldn't really. I'm just saying though, it was some big shit going on this shit with the shit, dog. Yeah. Fuck all that puss ass shit. Yeah, hey. That shit was calculated. Jay Z, Fur Beyonce with the lemonade and the shit in response to it. All that shit's calculated, man. I'm not saying it. Y'all can't fool I'm me. I'm not saying it wasn't calculated, but I'm just saying it made a lot of shit be talked about this year. Yeah, and obviously it was calculated. The, the elevator shit happened like three years, four years, you know, a while ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like right. he referencing this shit on the album, so it was all calculated. But shout out to them for being so fucking calculated in what they do. Man, I think we need to make a make fucking, it a little less. We need obvious. to make a run. Like shout out to Joe Budden and them. Joe Budden had a big year, I think too. Speaking of Joe Budden, yo, they had a big Joe Budden, not them, not came they, out. not they. I'm saying him. Himself, Joe Budden. Shit, both of them. Had I think big academics year. had a big year. Hell yeah. But Joe Budden had a this bigger year. This nigga came out from the internet to TV this year. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But we talking about a nigga that we would never thought could be a, a talked about person as a rapper again. And he's been. I mean, he's probably, definitely not talked about as a rapper. But I'm giving But what, as an entertainer. Saying, as an entertainer. What I'm saying is the name Joe Budden, period. Right. He went from being like, oh man, it's that nigga to. Oh, this that nigga. Right, right. So, he is re 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 emerged. I guess. I think Charlemagne had a big year. I mean, it's consistent for him. Nah, he dropped that book this year. So I think that made like oh, like I think he had a big year, bro. Yeah, he had a big year, but I mean, he always had something big happen area. But, but like, not like now, nah, not New York dropped time. The, he dropped a book, right? And they, he and was on, he was know, on like, different platforms this year. Yeah, but you know, like shit, I, it's pretty consistent for him. But he did have a big year. Though. I think he had a big year, but it's consistent for him. You know, he dropped TV shows and shit last year. You yeah, know true, saying? true, true. But he was still like this Charlemagne character or whatever. But what would you consider bigger, TV shows or a book? The New York Times bestseller. A bestseller book. I mean, still though, but a TV show compared to a bestseller. But, okay, what I'm saying is, like, I personally know a nigga with a bestseller book. I get that, but what I'm saying is this: I know of a nigga. I'm not saying that the TV show ain't like B. The, don't, don't get me wrong, but Charlemagne books and shit. The way that book shit worked out for him this year, not only did he get money off the book. That shit put him on a different type of spectrum. He doing different type of shows than what he was doing, like interview wise and all that shit. Than what he was doing when he was just having TV shows on MTV. When he had this bestseller, this nigga was on Good Morning America. He was on all other but, platforms. But that's because of the platform that he's on. True, prior to the book, true. because shit like but, that was but they the want, media but they run want, for the book. But they weren't talking about nothing to do with MTV when he was going on these shows. They were talking about his book. 
Right. That's right. what I'm saying. So, but I'm saying he put himself in position before that, like with so. TV shows and shit, because that was the media run. The book wasn't even a bestseller. Okay. Then. Oh, okay. It wasn't even out yet when he was on them shows and shit. You he know said, what I'm "I get that part." He he was calculating when he dropped the book. The book just put him on another stratosphere. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying he was all really short. Now, I the- agree that he had a big year because of that. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like big year ish, he's consistent with it. But he did have a big year. He had a big year to me. I get what you're saying. He is consistent, but this year just seemed like that book put him on a whole other. Like, I seen a whole different media run from him with the book shit. Like, motherfuckers like checking for him on some other shit. I'm like, okay. But he definitely broadened his audience and expanded his brand. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Charlamagne. That big. Uh, the balls. The ba- LeVar balls. That's we can just say the balls. You knew what I was going to say. They had the balls. We can just say the balls. They had a big year. They definitely had a big year. Epic year. Big year. The balls. I'm not going to say the balls. I'm just Shout say out to the, the balls. balls. LeVar balls. I'm not even saying it's LeVar All balls. the balls. Balls. Wait. That's no gay shit. I mean, all the balls. Shout out to all the balls. Because all the balls this year had a great year. Every ball. It felt like probably the mama ball, but she had a great year because of all the other balls. The one person in the family that don't got balls didn't have a good big year. Who? The mama. She had a great year. She had a great year because of them. Yeah, because she. We but she. But you but get she, what I'm saying? She, she don't got I balls. But she, all she, them got balls. She's just not in the, the balls. She's not in the spotlight. True. Because if we gonna go even deeper, I think the brother to the balls is having a bigger year because he's really the person. Behind all a lot of behind a lot of the shit that putting them in positions. This it, it's it's a family thing. That's why I, I love all the balls. Listen, when I swear when I give me some money, I am going to buy something from the big baller brand because I love to see family making money together. And when I hear the story on how deep it is, that's, it ain't just that's black wealth, man. Yes, it ain't just the the the, the daddy and the sons. It's the daddy, the brother, right, like right. the wife, like they she got building a legacy building for their family. Legacy. Man. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's like, what that white folks do. Why we can't do it? Exactly. I don't see. We got a lot of we got a lot of rich people and rich celebrities and shit. But see, a lot of people, they money control by this company that's owned by these white folks. You know what I'm saying? You got LeBron. You know what I'm saying? He making billions of dollars. But his money's controlled by the NBA, by Nike. You know what I'm saying? Shit like he don't have that control over his shit, which these people are starting their corporation, like they brand. That's an LLC, the balls. You know what I'm saying? Them people are a corporation. They follow the brand. They getting paid. They paying each other. You see what I'm saying? They ain't looking for a motherfucker to send them a check. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a big check. And they could be, get big checks to go sign with motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But that little extra grind gonna really pay off for their family for generations. You know? So, shout out to the balls. Shout out to 2017 was a big year for, um, I guess, niggas becoming quote unquote woke. Niggas. People becoming quote unquote woke. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Not even like woke. I'm just saying like certain things people starting to pay more attention to. You always allude to. We don't ever talk about it on the show, but even like on the whole Bible situation, there's a lot of people that see it different type of ways, and that's all what I'm saying. Oh, I've wow, seen man. more debates and shit going on about that. Shout out to entrepreneurs in 2017. I've seen a lot of motherfuckers on the entrepreneur grind in 2017. Yeah, a lot of big brands. I seen people selling hair, guy. clothes, food, jewelry. I done seen shout it all, out, man. Shout out, shout so out. shout out to the entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, we gonna get like the balls around this motherfucker. Shout out again. You know who else I think had a pretty big year last this year too, man? Our motherfucking scraps. They weren't in any radio station. Shout out to the scraps. Shout out to the scraps. They had a lot of big albums come out this year. They had a Cho Chase fam. You know shout out to Cho Chase. You're right. Cho fam. Chase had a had great good year. Music coming out this year. They had year. a great year. They had a great year. Damn, Geech. Uh, and black. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Big year, man. That's a big year. Um, I'm trying to think, man. Got Queen on the way. Oh, yeah. She got that no fuss giving. I definitely got to give me one of them cups. Bro. Shout out to Gucci. Gucci year was pretty. I think he even had a consistent year since he got out. So. I mean, Gucci had a pretty big year, though. Uh, nah. I, I mean, did like really hit first full year out. 
Yeah, but I think like it's been the same. It's been the same to me though. Like it ain't been bigger or worse. Like it just been kind of consistent, dog. Gucci was on he was on TV the biggest show. song last year. Like so. Wedding was on TV. I ain't saying that wasn't big. That was big, That's but big. but I'm saying he was still like he still had the same attention. Like it ain't been like out of this world Gucci talk. Like this year has been the regular Gucci shit. Like it ain't been like oh no Gucci. Bro. Nah. I don't know. He had a decent year. He had a, a great year. He's had a big uh, year, but he ain't been had one of them years that we just gonna be like, oh yeah, Gucci. He had some shit. He dropped a lot of albums this year. He had the wedding. I'm not taking that from him, but I'm he was on one of the biggest consistent. songs this year. He was consistent. He was consistent. You know what I'm saying? Just like you just talked about Chris Brown. That's how Gucci is right now. He's just been consistent since he got out. He's been consistent. He been out long enough for it to be like that though. He's, he got out last year. Exactly. This is his first full year out. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But even before he went in. Gucci. So if we judging it by years, then this is a big year. If we judging it by like months, then nah. I see what you're saying. I just feel like 2017 has been, he, he ended 2016 and was on the same high in 2017 is what I'm saying. Pretty much. If you want to say he didn't have a whole year. But 2016 out. don't count as a year because he got okay, out of the I'm saying. end. I'm saying. So it was big because okay. he got out of the end he got, of the year. He got a half a year then. We he got out like October. Okay. He got you know October. Saying? He took the whole momentum and he still had a big year then. Even last year when people say, oh yeah, he had a big. That nigga had a humongous year then. He was on the biggest song of the year last year. But it was. <laughs> That girl yeah, is a yeah, real yeah, girl. Yeah. He was on the biggest song of the year last year. So niggas were saying he had a break. He just took the same. Was that last year this year? That was last year, dog. The mannequin time shit? Yes, yeah, that was yeah. last year. What I'm saying is he took that momentum and came straight into 2017. He never lost steam. Like, he just consistently stayed right. big. But That's what I'm saying. But this is though, right here. I, I get 2017, man. I feel like he... Burr! Yeah, I think he... I ain't, gonna, I ain't saying he have no big year. I just don't consider, like, one of those... I feel the same way I guess you saying about Charlemagne it's the same way I feel about Gucci I like I like the, he was he, he just carried it over and got you know a little bit goddamn steam shout out to the wall man oh uh, the hit em up dang Migos the hit em up dang yeah that was pretty big this year the hit em up dang man that shit had a big deal yeah 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 that was that was pretty big this year yeah <laughs> That was the shit of the year. Future, he been one of them motherfuckers that consistently stayed. Yeah. See? He just had a couple big tours. So, you know he, he been consistently through a couple of years, though. So, like, do you even mention that shit? Even though he like, what Molly Perkins is this year? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mask off. Was that this year? I or think that, so. Nah, that was yeah. last year. Oh. But that was the shit he performed on the Drake tour and shit, too. Okay. From Summer 16. But that shit carried over to this year. You know what I'm saying? Because he went from the Drake tour to his own tour. You know what I'm saying? So, now he had to keep it consistent for a lot of Then probably years. next year, he going to go overseas and shit with it. I think they already done started that, man. So Shout consistent. out to my nigga DJ 200. He consistent with the shit. So, that's what I'm saying. He a goddamn. You can't mention him. Who didn't have a big year? Ray Sherman? Were they even around this year? Hey, Shermer. I mean, after the uh, Mannequin Taylor song, Not For Real, they dropped that Swain song, but that shit really wasn't big. Damn. You know what? It, we, Eminem. No. I think he had a bad year. No. I think he had no. a bad year. I'm saying, I think he had a bad year, because, like... Yeah. I definitely... I ain't say he had, had a big year. year. He came talking about it. Because he had year. that bitch-ass wannabe comeback. Yeah. yeah. Fuck your white boy. Dang. Post Malone had a pretty, pretty decent year. Yeah. He had a big year. Yeah. Yeah, he did have a, he had a big year. He had a big year. Pretty big year. He didn't have a number one song. Yeah, yeah. he had a number one this year. So, yeah. He definitely had a big year. And just let's not forget. The Fuck Falcons about- blew that league in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Normal Falcon shit. So I mean, that's not normal Falcon shit. I mean, it's normal for the Falcons to, I mean, to 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 get you all the way hyped and then choke. So, shout out to the Falcons for continuing tradition. Fuck that shit. But that I shit. love tradition. Shout out to the Falcons. The Falcons, you were my first love, and I thought I was gonna watch you just do it. And- I should bad. be happy about the shit, but I'm not. Like I feel bad. I understand that we your first love, but my first but, love, but but. 
till death do you part. I still love them. They died a long time ago. I, I still love them. I still love them. But I just get I, rid of Matt Ryan, and y'all might have some success. Kind of. I'm not gonna say that because I, you know, I'm not a true Falcon fan, so I can't say that. And I don't want no Falcon fan telling me I'm not fucking. Can't wait to have another Fuck Falcon a Falcon fan. fan. You know, the Falcon fans, they love their Falcon. You're a loser. I mean, fuck you. I mean, they're winning now, so technically. I ain't won shit. I mean, don't, I mean, don't, don't use that philosophy. If you're a Falcon fan, that just means that you're a consistent loser. Okay. So, fuck you. Okay, listen. You're saying that about Falcon fans, and that's the same thing people say about us as Georgia fans. The same exact shit. I can tell you that. But get what? We finna get that jewelry, baby. That's how Falcon fans feel. And you just always keep trying to shoot them down. But what did they do, though? They might have felt like that, but what happened? The usual. Fucked up. The usual. But motherfuckers be saying that about it. At at some point of the season, damn near every season, Falcon fans are turned up. And they wholeheartedly like, nigga, this how you. Every year at some point in time, they like, nigga, this how you. But what does the fact? It just at different points of the year. They just did it at the later end of the year this last okay. year. But you're losers, bro. You can't keep calling them losers because that's exactly what people if you say your, about. If you're in your twenties and thirties, twenties and thirties, and you're a Falcon fan, like you ain't even got nothing to even be proud of. You know, see championship. You know, they, they, nothing they, to be proud of. They want- <laughs> Unless you like seventy and you're a Falcon fan. They won the NFC championship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They went to the Super Bowl. A lot of teams don't get to go there. They went. That's a good highlight, I guess, for your real. You can write that down in your highlight book. You just got down. You're so fucking disrespectful to Falcon fans that Shout out to the it Falcons. hurt me that you're talking about them like that. And I'm not even a true Falcon fan, but you about to make me become a Falcon fan again because you just downing them three, so bad. Three things the Falcons organization needs to do to get a championship. Coming from T. Diddy of the Match One Podcast. First of all, Arthur Blank need to sit his old lad down and let motherfucker run the team. Second of all, they need to get rid of goddamn Matt Ryan and put his ass on some matty ice because it's over with for him. And third, they need to bring the Dirty Bird back. They need to bring the Dirty Bird back. The year that a nigga brings the Dirty Bird back is the year the Falcons is going to win the Super Bowl. I mean, technically, the last time they did the Dirty Bird, they lost the Super Bowl. True. But if they bring the Dirty Bird back, mark my word, bro. Okay, first of all, I think you're kind of wrong about Arthur Blank in this situation. He let Thomas Dimitrov run that team, the GM. He let him get the team together. He's not Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones he's is the GM. Jerry Jones-ish. He got Jerry I can see the Jerry Jones in him. You know what I'm saying? But he really let that nigga fuck up. If he gonna fuck up, he fuck up. So you gotta blame the GM on this situation. Now, we were talking about like the Cowboys. I say, yeah, gotta blame that. Oh, shit. Well, that was last year, so I don't know. Yeah. I often think yeah. like the Cowboys, but they ain't did shit this year. Oh. Uh, the protest uh, shit. Colin Kaepernick. Huh? Yeah. He had a big year. He had a big year, though. He had a good half a year. He had a big year, though. He had big year, though. He been winning awards all year, bro. That shit he died, he, he had a big year. That's oh, no. Died. The protest died. I'm talking about Kaepernick as the the person. I think he's, like, had a pretty big year. I mean, he still ain't got no job. But he's been getting awards. He's had the best year for an unemployed, nigga. Okay. I know. Take that, but he's still Out of pretty- unemployed niggas in the world, uh-huh. Colin Kaepernick has had the best year. That's fucked up shit to say. Ain't no nigga in the world unemployed that had a bigger year than Colin Kaepernick. But he has money in the bank already, so True. his unemployment is his unemployment ain't like every other nigga unemployed. I'm pretty sure unemployed people with money sure, in the bank. I'm pretty sure that they got him speaking and he's getting paid for going to speak at places too. That's what I think. He's he's been speaking and doing shit throughout this whole process. That's a hustle. So I think he's still. He got a hustle. You got an employed nigga that said, though. 
Okay. But he ain't got no job. You know what I'm saying? So he's still technically an unemployed nigga. I guess, man. In his field, he don't have a job. He had a pretty big year, though. He had a big year for unemployed. And protest shit was pretty big this year, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The NFL ratings were low this year. year. All unemployed nigga, man, that gives y'all something to look up to. You know what I'm saying? It should be like pictures of him in unemployment office all around the world. That's some fucked up shit to say, bro. That's some real fucked up shit to be saying about Colin Kaepernick. Not really. It is, dog. Then he ain't But I mean, he's very inspirational. But I'm saying, like, if you're in the unemployment office and you see a picture of Colin Kaepernick, that's seven. First of all, I don't think Colin Kaepernick is filing for unemployment. So he wouldn't be. I ain't saying he filed for unemployment. He wouldn't need no. He's inspiration for unemployed niggas around America. It's some fucked up shit you saying right now about Colin Kaepernick. He don't got a job. He don't. But look at the year he had. He been an inspirational speaker. Look at the, exactly. That's inspiration. Not for no. So in not unemployment for no, 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 niggas, around the world, what, what niggas should be in that big life. Damn! Look at Colin. Oh my God. Look at Colin. He got fired, and then look at him now. He didn't get fired. He quit his job. Yeah, he quit his job. Make sure you say that. He, he quit, quit his job, but now look at You know what I'm saying? I could be on one of these posters in the unemployment office. I got a whole nother, nothing to do with 2017 kind of topic. What's up? That I think is gonna be off the wall. What's up? And I'm official. I don't give a fuck. Let me say this first of all. What's up? What's up? Let me say it just like this. What's up with the bad head bounce? <laughs> <laughs> ain't that? Ain't that? Ain't that? And it's just gotta be some like Atlanta, Columbus shit, ain't it? You got to be like mid thirties, early to mid thirties to feel that. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? You got to be early to mid thirties to fit. Oh, to know what I eat the whole thing yeah, that just happened. Yeah, yeah, you definitely got to be though. So everybody who's what's up? What's anybody up? Who's somebody like, just heard it. Just anybody me. who like oh. twenty five oh. and under, they understand. I apologize because y'all don't even understand what's going on right now. But the other people that do, twenty five and up, twenty five up to thirty, they notice it. But thirty to mid thirties. They feel that shit. shit. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might bust side in the bike head. You know what I'm saying? Head 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 head. All a nigga got to do is say, what's up, what's up? And that's going to pop in your head, whether you say it or not. Did you just not? That's what exactly what just right. happened. Right. That exactly. was the perfect example. Because exactly. you just randomly said on, this man. shit. And Come the man. first thing came to my head was. 80 percent. 80%. 80% of motherfucker of niggas. In from thirty to thirty-five, from the south, if you say "What's up? What's up?" that shit pops in their head. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That might be some fucking crazy ass. Forty-five percent of those people are gonna finish it, as I did, like you did. That's some fifteen. To twenty percent of them, not only are they gonna finish it, but they gonna do the bank head bounce. <laughs> they gonna do the bank head bounce as they finish it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go at least a five percent is gonna do a custom bank head bounce. Five percent, five percent on the verse. They gonna throw the fish. They gonna throw the fish. Nah, nah, that's 10%. 10% maybe. They're going to do some 10% custom of them is going to have some shit and they're going to be hooping. <laughs> uh, they're going to be playing golf with the back here about. you going to hit a home run and watch that bitch fly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit like that. That's it's, the 10%. Is the backhand bounce the equivalent of the hit em up? Not saying like the dancing motions. I'm saying as far as. No, it can't no. be. Because the backhand bounce didn't get his beat. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't get his beat. It didn't get his beat. But that 5% is niggas who actually know the verse. You know what I'm saying? Because out of, out of that 80% of niggas who that shit gonna pop in their head. Somebody just doing the song. 95% of them don't even know the verses. You're right, because I don't, I don't know the verses. Right. I don't, I don't even know how it start. I don't even know a part of it. I just verse. know if the beat come on, yeah. I know what That's song it. it is. I don't even think it's verses in the song. I bet you there's verses in the song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Def- I don't know. Listen, there's definitely verses in the song. It's just we programmed not to hear the verses. Listen, bro, I can go even further. 
I don't even know who sings it. I don't either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I was going to look it up right now on Google, I was just thinking, I was going to go, what's up, what's up with the back end? Hey, who the fuck even sings it, man? We're going to find out right now. Whose song is that? You think Google knows this shit? Are they rich? You think they should be rich. You think Google, is it what's up or what's up? Man, I don't think it matter. Google might even know what you're talking about. If you say what's up, what's up with the back end bounce shot. That big gonna say oh, that, shit, that shit popped up. That big gonna say A town players. A town players. Oh, let's go! Hey, that my shit, bro. That is my shit. Hold that shit to the mic. I need everybody to hear this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh uh uh. uh. That nigga gonna say, hi, hi. This back ass bounce, bounce, shawty, bounce. Oh. It's definitely <laughs> versus I on told this. you. They got a whole group. How the fuck along in this song? Four minutes. The only thing we know is, <laughs> I have never heard that voice. <laughs> oh, shit. I've never oh, heard shit. that voice before. Listen. If any of y'all know the A Town players, tell them to hit the match on my podcast. I'm telling you. Hey, we need to start making sure we tell our listeners this shit. Anybody we think of, we need to tell them to tell them to hit us. Boy, that shit class. A Town players, hit us. Nah, you got to be 35 to 40 to know their names and to know all that information on them. Because somebody knew that. You 35 to 40. Somebody would listen to us like, them niggas don't know the A Town. A Town players? <laughs> Ain't no music, the fuck? no. This fuck no music. This ain't no podcast. <laughs> Somebody just changed us. A motherfucker somewhere just this stopped listening to us, bro. and we apologize. But they just stopped listening. <laughs> a 42 year old nigga somewhere just, got just stopped listening to us because that nigga said, This ain't no, no. goddamn podcast. They don't even know who the eight town players is. They don't even know the verse, nigga. Come on, man. Somebody was rapping the verse, man. On, man. So, hey, you're right. We apologize to whatever listener knew that group. And we just disrespect It's a 42-year-old nigga so well pissed off at us. In Atlanta. Definitely in Atlanta. Or from Atlanta. Or somewhere in the South. With your good fishing ass. Probably or Argonne, Georgia. Who had the fuck is that Argonne, Georgia? Sweet tea to? drinking ass. Well, hold up, bro, because I drank sweet tea. I know. Oh. When you get 42, you're going to be one of them niggas, too. Because you from the South. It's fucked up, cuz. You know? But I'm just I saying, hope I don't be one of them niggas. I'm just saying, me being in the category of 30 to 35, uh huh. I feel it. It definitely puts me in the mood. Uh, okay, okay. I definitely could bust out in the bank head bounce with with a, a lot custom, of different moves. A custom one. You know what I'm saying? Specialty. Come on, man. I done seen nigga hit the prime time. Mm. Niggas was creative, man. Maybe the Atlanta Falcons should start back doing the back end bounce. No. 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 You want the dirty bird. Not the eight time players. <laughs> <laughs> Not the eight time players. Bro, if eight time players have a show. I bet they got another song that we know. I guarantee you. It's another song. Cause in that time everybody had two. In the booty shaking music. Everybody got at least two Buddha Sega songs that you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Whether got, you know it's them or not. Then they got a whole page. True players. What's up? What's up? Wanna hear true players? I it's, bet you we know it. We might not know the title. But it's gonna be a song you'll be like, oh shit. Yes, sir. I don't know. Hold up. Hold up. I could be wrong this time. Oh no. I don't know this one. Hold on, man. Look for me. I know that duh, duh, man. Nah. That's a different beat, though. I swear to God, I think I heard this song before. I think I have, too, but I... Man, we made, hold on, hold on. We are definitely making the 42 year old nigga man. Okay, yeah, we are, we are, we sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit! I forgot about that nigga. Oh shit! He don't stop listening to us anyway. Hold up, freak that girl. We need to bring that nigga back, man. We sorry, bro. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. On the second one. That's on the second one. I knew it had to be one. You did. It had to be one. 
That is crazy, bro. Sorry to everybody who knows about the eight time play. Somebody somewhere is mad. It's fucking. Somebody know when they got their CD out. But if bro. you knew that off the dribble, you're thirty five and over. Definitely, I guarantee. You. And if you knew the verse to that song, I just you played, definitely thirty five and over. If I, you knew the verse to the song, if you know free that girl, free that girl verses, you might be pushing. That's feet. that. You are so right about that because now we think about all the booty shaking songs. There have always been verses to them, but we probably don't know the verses to none of them I unless they some like classic. We didn't start even knowing the verses to booty shaking song until like Yin Yang Twin. And 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 a lot of motherfuckers probably still don't know the verses there. We know probably know the verses like the season nine boys on or nothing, but we know mm. a lot of their songs. Mm. You're right, bro. That's a- I don't know the verses the whoop that is. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Come yes, on, now, that's tag that, team back, back again. again. Yeah, that ain't even real booty shake song though. Who did it? Really? Yeah. Oh, it is. It is. That's a booty shake. Shaking. Cool. They saying. <laughs> 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 they say Woo Dead is <laughs> You know what I'm saying You're right That's a booty shake song I, I What just, does that even mean I just I just did not consider that like Who saying that But I was with, nine boy No it's like Who saying that Saying the first fucking verse again Tad team <laughs> <laughs> tag team. I need somebody for a member of tag team just to just. I just need to know what whoop dead is mean. What? Cause they want nigga to say it a little louder. They want you to say it one more time, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But like, what am I saying? What is she? Whoop dead is. Okay, but when you think of booty shaking songs, you think of whoop dead is. No, that's what I was saying. Kinda. <laughs> It's kind of like when you bring it up just now, but I'm saying when I think of booty shaking songs, whoop that is was like not in my mind at all. If a nigga with like five booty shaking songs, whoop that is probably will come across. Oh, oh, here we go. Five booty shaking songs. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, uh-huh. You better cheat a little bit and I say free that girl, free that girl. I ain't gonna go free that girl. I ain't gonna even do sorry for the two yo. I can't even do eight time players in that one because the eight not, time players, not, man. The eight time player, man. Who saying pushing inside of you? <laughs> <laughs> Who saying that shit? Cause that's classic, man. <laughs> it's me so horny. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Baby got back. Okay. I'm okay. just looking at songs. I'm trying. I'm running about you. Hey, yeah. Anything from Luke, though. Because that's the booty shaking king. So, you know, any Luke. They song. supersonic? Hell yeah. Yeah, I guess that's super. Mm. But see, booty shaking was, was in that category, like the beats and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like now, like the shit Jeezy mad at. Like how, because of the beat and how the song sound, it's categorized as trap music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like in that time, like Super Sonic ain't really got nothing to do with no you know booty what, shaking. The, the song. The bad part about this whole thing with us talking about the booty shaking music is, I really don't know a lot of the, I gotta hear music and be like, oh, hey, because a lot of them artists, I don't know their yeah, names. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And then we from the I South. Would, I would call like, like Right in the like, dream and shit What about the shit Yeah Oh that's booty music Kilo Ali Beautiful girl In the world that, 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 that. Okay. You know what I'm saying oh, Kilo Ali music. Hell yeah this Hell is, yeah This is what I'm saying Man there's so many motherfuckers You ain't twinning them so far though. Oh, that music no in that era You know what I'm saying In that era Crunk music was really beauty, Booty shaking music Kind of before they did their own little bass and all that other shit. I can yeah. see that though. Till they start Bill doing John all came from a booty shaking era. Till they start doing all the till, till they got males incorporated into booty shaking music. That's what the crump era is. But crump ain't nothing but booty shaking music male incorporated. Because the bitches still can booty shake to the crump music. 
But then yeah. at the same time, they talk like, like, put your hood up, and throw your set up, and shit like that. That's you know a what I'm saying? Analogy. Yeah. Yeah. That's deep. I like that. Yeah. That was a big cross, man. That was a crossover. It wasn't nothing but booty shaking music that niggas could got down get in. But on. what I'm gonna say about the booty shaking music is that might. Do you think that's like more of a southern thing? Like booty shaking uh, music is a south thing. It okay. Come out the south. But shit, Luke, that would be. I know that, but you know what but I'm that's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the big artists because a lot of our booty shaking music from the south is not going to be some of the the bigger shit. We don't know that though. Oh, that's what I'm saying. We gotta get somebody from. Even when I think it sound like that, just my baby daddy. I don't think that was as big as it. But that's a, I'm us. saying. I'm saying that's a booty shaking song. Okay. What I'm okay. Like what I'm saying is this. Well, that, nah, I can't even use that because that just might be some Columbus shit. Like I finna say, like not even booty shaking, but like get retarded. When we, that's not no Columbus shit. Them niggas from like California. I'm talking. About, I didn't know everybody. <laughs> I didn't know everybody step to it like that worldwide when it come on. I ain't saying it. No, like, no, nah, like the dance wise. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah, saying nah, like how we dance. Nah, when that shit come on and what it do to. I say in southern people I don't know Cause I know I've seen niggas in Atlanta Dance to that shit too so I Right But I don't know well, I think the nigga from like California cuz I, I don't I'm talking about where they from Where it was big at for us Cause he could've been from California But I don't think I, say, from I feel North. like it was probably big Everywhere In a certain way Oh okay You know what I'm saying I don't know bro Cause I know motherfuckers Cause in other places When they hear shit like that Like they They It's just ticking and shit You know what I'm saying Shit like that You know now, what I'm saying I done I done seen personally Niggas from other places Like up north and shit Cause that had never heard That shit in their life I can see that At one point I was in Florida I seen Florida motherfuckers Never had heard that shit before I can see shit like that So that's why I was saying I didn't know if it was like Um Some it's in Atlanta It's like Nick and Nick That's what I'm saying well, see, like, they, like, That's like Like shit like um, Africa Bam Bottom Them and shit like that You know what I'm saying Like they That shit music. was big though Right that shit was big, But to big. us That's the same type of music Like Gear Tardy You know what I'm saying That's gonna put us In the same mind frame of that You know what I'm saying But mm. up north Motherfuckers and shit like that That shit's big but they doing some whole they break dancing and shit. I can see you I, know what I see in Cali them doing some shit too. I just don't see them doing. But it was hard and shit. I thought that was a break dancing song. It's I mean obviously. It's called Get Retarded. Right. <laughs> uh I don't even know how the we got into this shit. We supposed to be talking about twenty seventeen. We done went back to the nineties and all time. Yeah, we shit. have. We have. I don't know, but Sean's we floated. We, we, we float. You know, you know what's going on. Man. This the last year, so last episode of the year. Why the not? Last year. Hold on. <laughs> This the last episode of the year. This the last episode of the year, man. Shit, bro. <laughs> so, uh, I'm scared, man. Nah, nah, like, nah, whoa, this the last year. This is the last episode of the year. I told you that. Shit. The last episode of the year, so Okay. That's why it's okay for us to flow. That's all I'm saying. That's how I'm trying to get out with you, kind of. <laughs> so, this is time. definitely gonna be the New Year's Eve episode and technically the New Year's episode. You know what I mean? Oh, New Year's Eve. Wow. We ain't talking about shit. Like, I didn't look up no shit to talk about because I thought we was gonna be spending most of the episode talking about 2017, but we Which did we have. in the 90s. We did talk about it since 2017. You know, we, we, we ended up with some 42 year old niggas mad at us. Yeah, sorry to the, the sorry to the four. Shout out to eight time players. I apologize. Eight time player, freak that girl, freak that girl. What was the other song? What was the whole? Thing? <laughs> what the fuck was it? <laughs> Making it rounds, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's the whole point of us looking the niggas up? <laughs> we walked. Was it a video of that? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Bounce, y'all. Yes. Ain't hey, that, little that. mama, why you dress so funky? Come on, man. <laughs> All that type of shit. Who's saying that? Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming they named little mama. They ain't named little. Was it little mama? Nah. <laughs> little mama had that other shit. Definitely not little mama. I could definitely see that being a little mama song though. <laughs> nah, it's not little mama, bro. I got that. I know the name of it. Just I'm trying to find it. That I want to that. say it's like some little boys too, is it? Nah, it, it's it's some little boys. Yes. <laughs> and I want to say they from you. <laughs> but I want to say they from here, bro. Let me see the video. 
I want to say they from here, cuz. What they name is? I want to say they from here, bro. Now, maybe that song not as big as we thought it was. Hey, it's, it's another song, too, by the nigga on uh, British Night. You remember that nigga fucking line? Yeah. What's the song, bro? BK. What's the song? Why you, you want to play it? Bye-bye. That shit was big, though. That shit was on BET and shit. Bye-bye. That shit was on BET and shit. I remember seeing that video on BET. For real? Hell yeah, nigga. That shit was be on Video Soul. Shout out to Donny Simpson and Sherry Carter. Let me go. What happened to Sherry Carter? Like, Donny Simpson kind of stayed around a little bit, but what happened to Sherry Carter? She just disappeared, right? She, like she turned retired. to, like, the... She turned to the mama on first print. That's who she looked like, I think. Really, bro? I don't even remember what she looked like, to be honest. Shout out to everybody that remember the video puppies. Soul Glow. They from here. That's their name. Look, look and see where they from. I really don't even think that song that that's one right now. That's probably one song that we don't need that we think is way bigger than it is. Cause worldwide that song probably ain't even big. Yeah, don't even... Cause I think they really from here. I don't it don't even say where they're from, bro. Hold on. You really looking this up? I think we all think it's time to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out to all our listeners and yeah, shit, man. man. Shout out to everybody. I who can't we... believe we just got down, went all, all off Miami, Florida. Oh, they from Miami? Yeah. So, uh. Shout out to the puppies, man. Yeah. What to the puppies, man? Man, nobody fucking knows. It's like we're having ABC. It's gonna be some stupid shit. Like, Aisha, Aisha. 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 Girl, I never Shout out to them. It was a lot of them niggas. Another bad creation. It was a lot of them niggas, boy. Yeah. About eight of them, seven. I don't know. Man, niggas, did we even listen to the lyrics to what they were saying back then? Nope. Yep. Maybe we should. Like, it, it was okay for kids to be really, like, doing some shit. I don't think they should have been doing. True. Like, true. It was a time for that. It was a time for that. It was a time for that. Girl, I hope you can stay so we can play this little game we I don't think there was kids. Them was like teenagers is what I'm saying, though, because they were young as fuck. Them bitches be like 14, 15. We just don't be knowing their age, because you got to think. Wasn't they like escape? No. It was 702. 702. Sub, Subway. Subway and 702. Subway was the group. 702 was the girls. They were young as fuck. Oh, don't think so, bro. How much you want to bet, bro? You want to try me on this? You know how I feel about this. I've been waiting. 702, though? Seven. This, how much you want to put on this? How much you want to put on this, bro? I, I know my shit, bro. 702. That was 702. Yes, they were young as fuck then. They was like 14. That's what I'm yeah. telling you, cuz. They were young as fuck then. All them groups back then was young as fuck. Yeah. Now, see, that was the time. That's, not, that's, that's my whole point. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Them motherfuckers yeah. was young. But when you yeah. think about the lyrics, when yeah. I go back and listen to that shit, now I be like, God damn. They're right, though. They were young. They're right, though. But, you know, there was a time for that era. And, once again, we talking and about another one. who was there? Who? R. Kelly. That's where he probably... That, what if that is why he do what he do? Because he was around all of these... That was the time of his life. He was so fucking wrong with this shit. Age ain't nothing but a number? She was young as fuck, too. Come on, man. He wrote that. He felt that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People write shit from inspiration. And that was his inspiration. Age ain't nothing but a number. I don't even know what to say about that right That's now. That's some shit that get him goosebumps because he like, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? He really feels that. Nothing but a number. Shout out to R. Kelly. He's supposed to be coming on the show soon this year. Yo, yeah, shout out to R. Kelly. Man. Think he'll be okay coming on the show? You hear you talking about him? R. Kelly quote. If that pussy work, no mind. Yeah, you just sound pedophile. <laughs> no, this is R. Kelly quote. So I mean, but you was it's right? definitely pedophile. R. Kelly actually sung about peeing on somebody in a song, and I don't think nobody paid attention to him. 
customer remix with Raheem Devine really? when he be like, let me serve you. On that remix, he be like, hey, baby, if you thirsty, I got some good, good lemonade. Uh, I think you talking about pissing? It's I mean, maybe that's, sir, I, maybe that's one of his trademarks at the house when he got bitches over. He make, he make good <laughs> lemonade. Like, okay, I, I guess we can go with that. Like, people love my lemonade. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Women love his lemonade. What if his lemonade is when he pissing on the bitch? That's what he called it. Then maybe I just took it the wrong way. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm really not, wanna, and I'm not in no way saying really or form that. saying that I seen him pee on anybody in a video years ago. Whenever that video ever came out, and up. I don't want to fully say that it's something wrong with peeing on somebody. Let's put that out there. You said there's nothing wrong with peeing on somebody. I didn't say that. It. It's nothing wrong with it. Okay. But I'm saying, I don't feel like it's something wrong with it. You don't feel like this kind of falling back into this whole, like, your Kobe scenario in a way? As long as you age appropriate. Okay. I'm- maybe maybe it's something wrong with pissing on somebody the day you meet them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's kind of strange. I think it's a sexual assault. But I mean, if, you and the, and- if, you, if y'all okay with that, and, and y'all grown... Couple of things that we did gotta discuss. First is somebody actually said that it's wrong of you last episode mm-hmm. to pause the whole episode to talk about LL Cool J and how he slept on and not induct him into the legends last week. Which was like a good analogy of the episode. I, was I like, mean that he is kinda of fucked up. You stopped the whole episode to talk about this man legendary stand. I'm not sure if I want him in my legendary, but but you stop the whole episode. That's, I mean, musically, that's legendary. But, I mean, this the match one podcast. I mean, you stop legendary the whole episode to talk about this nigga being legendary. Yeah. Secondly, pissing on somebody's sexual assault. You think so? <laughs> um, I mean, anything where you got to pull your dick out of sexual assault. You know, because, like... I got to find out you can be looking... Like, sexual harassment is borderline sexual assault. I mean, yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, like you looking at a, a, a woman's shirt. Sexual like, harassment is just like not taking the legal route of sexual assault. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> legally, I don't say things like sexual harassment. That's some shit having that work and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the non-legal route okay. of sexual assault. You know Even what I'm saying? Sexual assault, shit, man. I don't. I've, I've not even had this conversation with you. I mean, but that's right though. You're pissing it's on somebody. Pretty much the same thing. You're pissing on somebody. I mean, so anything so. where it's involuntary dick involvement. Do it just necessarily got to be dick? What is? What if a, a female hit you with her titty? Just I pull out a titty and hit you with it. That's sexual assault. That's technically is. So, or a good time, or you can see that as sexual assault or a good day at work. Next thing that I want to talk about, since we're speaking on sexual assault, mm-hmm. is this year I am flipping the script with this sexual assault shit. So if anybody I ever felt like sexually assaulted me, I am suing them. Right? Okay. First motherfucker I'm suing is okay. the physician that gave me a physical when I was like 12. Okay. Right? Okay. And that's because I didn't want him touching on my body. I didn't really know at the time right, that this right, physical meant right. like me. You finna touch my, my my sack, right? Right. Right. And my mama was there, so I'm suing her too mm-hmm. because she watched him do this shit. That to should me, be girl. that should be totally legal. So I should sue them, right? That's sexual assault, exactly. But this year that shouldn't even. I mean, what's that got to do with the physical? Huh? What they got to do with the physical? Is this what I'm saying? I just want to play basketball. I'm telling everybody to watch out. I'm suing anybody. My, I hey, that, my wife, she grabbed my ass or some shit. I understand that. Guess what? But I mean, as a child. She getting sued. As a child. I, I, not even as a child. Just like, what part of the physical, what's, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, grabbing your balls and telling you to turn your head and cough. Like, what what's that got to do with your physicality? Mind fuck right now. Why about this? What if it was a conspiracy that maybe it was a pedophile doctor that started this shit? Like maybe we should touch on. That's balls what I'm saying. On the kids. Like what the? He got caught <laughs> doing a physical with a kid balls in his hand. Okay. And he had a good ass explanation. 
That's all that is. Cause what? Okay, I'm 14 years old. Mm-hmm. I want to play football. Uh-huh. I'm straight. I ain't got asthma. I ain't allergic to shit physically. My heart straight. You know what I'm saying? Everything good. Now, I'm feeling it at the time. You know what I'm saying? When I was 12, that's. Oh, I understand imagine. the physical. Uh huh. Uh huh. But why you gotta grab my nuts and tell me to call? Why is my dick a part of this physical to play football as a 13 year old? Now, at one point during the football, am I gonna use my dick, right? Like, I'm not, the coach ain't gonna tell me to go out there. When I was in Little League, when dick. I was in Little League, ain't nobody had to hold my dick and tell me to call. And I play, and we play football. You want to join don't, on, on suit with me with suing that these doctors? There's some shit that really needs to be addressed. Do you, are you on board with me with suing these doctors that did this? Thing? Hell yes. I'm just saying. Who has that ever stopped? Like, who has ever failed the physical because they ball test weren't right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, especially by that time you get in that age, you, you know Your balls, by then, you kind of know your balls. Somebody speak out, man. Anybody who has failed the physical because of the ball portion of it, let us know. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Because who uh, is that ever? You stopped? think they gonna tell us though? What you mean? You think somebody gonna tell us? Hey, bro, I want y'all to know I I failed the ball physical when I was like. I mean, I feel like somebody would be you know. Balls. We talking about balls, and we're not talking about the. I wonder how that talk is like. Exactly. Like your physical looks great, son. Everything checks out, you know. But balls. your balls, like your balls, when I had them in my hand, <laughs> and you coughed, and you coughed. Like I, like I had to hold your shoulder a little bit, and when I put my hand on your shoulder and I grabbed him a little firmer and told you cough again, like I felt something. <laughs> so this is very. I don't think it's gonna be healthy for you to play football this year. How healthy do your balls need to be to play football? That's that's what I'm. That's a good. That's a good analogy. That's what I'm saying. Like, at what point do the doctor like? Do I gotta touch your dick for you to play football? You gotta get your dick touched right. to play football. You gotta get your dick touched. I mean, that's on all fail, aspects. Or you feel this physical. And this is on all aspects of playing. Right. I got to touch your dick. Your balls. I got to touch your balls. Okay, we're talking too much dick ball shit. This is... Nah. I just need somebody to address that, though. Please. Oh. Uh, what part of the physical is that? That's the ball part. But I'm suing any female that I feel like sexual assault. Okay, mm-hmm, cause mm-hmm. just putting that out there. Right, so 2018, right. if you get that knock on your door, might as well show up in court. Mm-hmm. I'm flipping the script. Period. Yep. Oh, old lady, you looking at me like that at the store while I'm shopping? Guess what? <laughs> Old lady, knock, knock. Old, uh, old lady look down in the store, be like, "Did you just look at my dick, lady?" Wait a minute! I need a, I need somebody to call the police. Hold on, call the police, cause I have just been sexually assaulted. Like, no, don't you go nowhere. Stay away, right here. Exactly. Looking at my dick. Who you think <laughs> I am? What the fuck? It's exactly what my thoughts are. So we well, on the same. Looking hand. at my bolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But yeah. So females be on the lookout for that. Be all at work with it. Oh, um, some needs to be done because she is looking at my bulge. I don't feel comfortable in here. We need to start a bulge. Uh, no, I know, no hashtag. Why, why? Hashtag stop looking. Don't look at my bulge. Bulge means no. Two. You feel me? Bulge means bulge means no two. Means no two. Sometimes. In parentheses. Sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. You know what I'm saying? So this shit has to stop. I I thank you for bringing it to our. You the Colin Kaepernick of this shit. You should quit your job. Quit my job. Quit your fucking job. You are the Colin Kaepernick of this shit. Man. I am, bro. I am the Colin Kaepernick. Of speak this up shit. for people, for niggas around the world. I got who to have speak up. Ever Ain't involuntary no got your balls no touched, more. man? Ain't no doctors touching us Come no on, more. Man. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
Involuntary ball Nurse uh, Excuse me You don't need to be Touching my nuts Come on man Come on now Auntie don't you Touch me no more Whoa <laughs> Whoa Now she needs To be sued <laughs> Sue her Sue her So there was Jay Z I'm coming for you buddy Hey I was talking About females I was That's hoping. how you Grab my dick Why, why with Jay Z I didn't forget I was a kid man I was a kid, man. Why Jay Z? How could you do a kid like that? Why Jay Z? Why me? What you mean? Whose side are you on? <laughs> what you mean? Why Jay Z? Why saying, me? Like, Why did this have to happen to me? And you worry about fucking Jay Z? When did this happen? Fuck him. When did this happen? When I saw him. I was a kid, man. When you know did what you, saying? you I like Jay Z. Like, when did you, you know? see him, bro? Okay, like, bro. You gotta explain okay, this, bro. man. I'm in New York. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We at the mall. Mm-hmm. I'm in a little clothing store. You know what I'm saying? I'm young. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> so I'm riding up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You. Between you the ages of 10 and 14. Somewhere in my life. Okay. You okay. know, we put it there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the mall. So I know who Jay-Z is. You know, he ain't Jay-Z, Jay-Z. Uh-huh. But he's Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you know everybody's like excited because we're in New York. You with, know Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? So people, hey Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in the store shopping, you know. I went with my mama. Okay. She off, you know, shopping and shit. You, you know, know what I'm doing saying? Mama thing. Probably riding a little gift for somebody to laugh. Come on, man. You got to get a goddamn ten dollar watch with diamonds and shit you all in it. You know what I'm saying? So. I walk up like, hey, Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you the nigga from TV. Y'all see, I watch you on TV, whatever, else. He was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know how he do. I, I got you know you. what I'm saying? Know, I know exactly. You know, Jay-Z, typical Jay-Z typical shit, Jay-Z. you know? So, you know, he was like, yeah, little nigga, you know, how you doing? Well, well, you know, we shake hands, whatever, whatever. And he, like, put his hand on my shoulder. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And, like, and he, like, broke me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like broke me, you know. I like jumped back a little bit, you know, and I looked at him kind of crazy, like, how? Wait, so he gave you a physical? Kind of, sorta. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, so you know, I jumped back. And I looked, I'm like, how? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wasn't hove then, though. But go ahead. And he just walked away. Damn, what you, you got know? a case on you, boy? He think I don't remember that. If y'all got the, I need the mall footage from okay. 1997 uh-huh. to in Parisian in the mall uh-huh. in New York. Now, that was you sure it was 97 because you just said it was like a 10, 10 to 14. So you want to give them like four year? I mean, at some point in my life. So you got to give them like. It was Parisian okay. in the 90s. But Parisian was pop. When Parisian was popping. Parisian. Wow. You know what I'm saying? We was, we was in the Tommy Hill figure section. You know, tummy, tummy time. Come on, man. Okay. Come on, man. But Jay-Z, I, I don't got nothing to do with that lawsuit. So, um... I just want him to know, you stepping down from Rock Nation, buddy. He not gonna step down. You stepping down, buddy. Yeah. Title, you stepping down, buddy. What if Title want to give us a deal? We can negotiate. I'm saying, I I personally feel like we better than Rap Radar. Definitely, fuck those. Give faggots. us those guests. We we'll probably have a way better show. That nigga Elliot a faggot. I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm just saying, I personally, I listen, but I feel like personally we had that. Elliot's gay that. and he's annoying. And if he want to fight about it, we could do that too. On site. Oh. Definitely on site. Elliot's on site. Definitely. Damn, Elliot. You shouldn't have asked me. You know, I, I just kind of in the mind frame of not turning down the on site. If you ask me about a nigga on site, it kind of feel like they asking me. So he definitely on site. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. I'm sorry. Uh, but I guess, you know, Elliot, hey, I was just trying to actually get on title. Uh, I, I I wasn't trying to do the threats. I just. I mean, I would love. I, would, I was making. Uh, Send a nigga a check, ho. I was making an opinion. We can forget about all the allegations. Because all of this is alleged. So we'd be okay signing with Rock Nation? 
Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. You know? I better make sure we was okay with that. We on the same. But my dick better be safe. Cause he might remember me. You know what I'm saying? I might have to go in there and disguise or something because I'm kinda scared. Hmm. You know. So shout out to my nigga Ho, man. So uh, we gotta go ahead and ask somebody in these legends before we get fuck about it, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, every episode. Every fucking episode, we gotta do this. And I don't know who I want to put in there today. I don't either, man. You know what? I do know who I'm going to put in there today. What's up? I'm putting in the A-Town Player. Okay. Shout out to the number got there. Okay. Episode 42. A-Town Players. A-Town hey, Players. At 42 year old, look. Y'all look, legendary. I redeem myself. Y'all legendary, man. I redeem myself. Y'all legendary, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's the back here, man? Hey, I nigga, ain't see. Nigga, when we run down the eight time players on the match one legend list to somebody, they gonna be like, who the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Did we just gonna do? Come on, man. Unless they ain't. We gonna enlighten you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put somebody in there now, man. Uh, man, man, man. See, you got the worm days now. You might just gotta pull you one out, man. I'm gonna have to end up that um my nigga Kane. Who? My nigga Kane, man. Kane, who? Kane. Kane, man. He first of all, he graduated from high school, which is so legendary in the black community. Kane who? You know what I'm saying? Okay. The night of his party. He watched his cousin Harold get killed. Wait, wait, take, wait, wait. Are you talking? His cousin Harold got killed in the car with him. He got shot. You know what I'm saying? He already living with his grandparents. You know what I'm saying? Gangster neighborhood. He really wasn't too gangster, but he got to hang around a nigga named Old Dog. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I can't believe. But then. Him and Old Dog, Old Dog used to get him in a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Then he robbed a nigga in a drive thru. Took his rims and shit. They had the same car. Took his took his dates and shit. Uh-huh. Watch, jury, all that shit. Got him a cheat a double burger with cheese. Out of all of that. You know what I'm saying? Fucking rims and shit. He met a bitch at the barbecue. Fuck the bitch. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got her pregnant. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cussed her out when she told her she was pregnant. Mm-hmm. So she don't like that shit. So she tell her cousin. Junior. He, you know? <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that. You know? He be some fucked up shit, though. Junior do a lot do of fucked up shit. a lot of fucked up shit. That's a shit. fucked up nigga. Man, that's a fucked up nigga. That's a fucked up. And I was glad when he got killed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Junior, Junior gonna come, come approach him uh-huh. in the hood, yeah. like, like, like he was one of y'all niggas. Came. Come on, man! You don't come to a nigga house like that. Like, which one of y'all niggas came? You know what I'm saying? She don't like the way you been treating her, and I don't either. His cousin Eileen. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fuck kind of bitch ass shit is that? She don't like the way you been treating her, and I don't either. So him and old dog beat the nigga ass, stomp the nigga out, and all that mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. But that shit ended up getting them killed. Yeah, it did. Because Junior did on the hop, then went and told everybody, got in the car. He was trying to do positive. Come to Atlanta, R- Rashid, whatever that night was, he, he Muslim homeboy, you know what I'm saying? We're talking to him, putting him in a good vibe, good spirit. Him and the, the actually his OG girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. which we ain't going to get into that. Is that OG Bobby Johnson? Go ahead. It was definitely OG Bob Josh. That was Trey Mom. You know what I'm saying? That was Trey Mom. You see what I'm saying? So his OG bitch, while he was locked up, he done went to fucking with his OG bitch. Who was Trey Mom? Okay. No. Then what Trey Mom if we talk about the same Trey? No, nah, not the same Trey. Okay. When, when OG Bob Josh signed the name Trey? Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's the name? What's the name Trey? I don't think his name was Trey. Trey is. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. But. 
What the fuck with it, OG bitch? Mm-hmm. But it was positive though, cause she was trying to move out the hood. They were gonna move to Atlanta, start over. You know what I'm saying? She had a job and shit. OG he was gonna move it. with her and just started like get out the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? Get somewhere new, started life over. The day that they was moving, mm. here come Junior. Drive by. Damn. I don't even know if they shot the little boy, but he went on the damn tricep. Nah, I think he was straight. Because Kane, he saved him. Kane saved him, but he ended up. So I heard. I'm sorry, bro. I mean, it couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. I, I heard that about him. I said all that to say. He's a legend, though. He's a legend. Legendary, man. Match one legend. My nigga Kane. Rest in peace. I'm going to shout out to Kane. All right, Kane. Hey, Amen. <clears throat> but yo, I get a little choked up, you know what I'm saying, when I talk about, about it, you know. Cause, yeah, I see, I see, man, you know. Damn, um, I don't. He got the nigga that killed me because of hair, though. So shout out to Junior, you ever want to come on the show? But uh, I don't know, cause you do that one look, and I already know what's gonna go on. That nigga, oh dog, said smoke you and your cousin. <laughs> Yeah, hey, but uh, hey, yeah, bro. Yeah, Happy man. goddamn New Year's to everybody. Y'all Happy hear this New Year, when man. y'all hear this episode. Some of y'all gonna hear it on New Year's, just like y'all heard the last week on Christmas, man. So we hope oh, glad y'all bringing in y'all holidays and shit with the Best One Podcast. Hello. You know the episode is four twenty Sundays. I'm just getting, I know everybody don't listen to like Monday. Yo. Except probably Tony 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 Jr. Tony Tony Tony. Tom, we still wait for you. Come on, Tony Tony. We got dude. New Year. We gonna see y'all on here too. Yo. Ray Rice yeah. yourself. Hmm. Oh, you're not going to get into legendary. Okay. You know so he, he got to get a Ray Rice jersey. He got to wear a Ray Rice jersey. Or, or call a beach or call a female. He while he call, over here. He can call somebody over here, a female, and he got to punch her in the face. Quite simple. I mean, I guess, bro. I, I mean, I, I feel like that's a pretty simple task. I, Easy way to get into, to become legendary. I think we give him a trophy if he gets somebody to come over here and he can... I'm sorry. He, he deserves an award. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a big award. That's instant Hall of Fame. Yeah. You know, you you shoot yourself to the top of the list. Um, but yeah, man. So, but yeah, bro. Thank you all for listening and shit, man. We yeah, had a good episode. Man. We got into a lot of shit this you know, episode. Shout out so, 2007, because he beat over. Shout out 2007. 2017. Lean 2017 and 2017. Like, them bitches be saying on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm leaving everything in 2017 and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. You know, make y'all little fake ass resolutions that y'all ain't going to be doing by Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. All that type shit, you and, know. And y'all motherfuckers that gonna come fucking on my gym time, don't come in there doing this shit. You know you ain't gonna be doing this shit, but for a couple of days. Oh, shout out to the gym. Yeah, goddamn. Cause the memberships finna shoot up. Shut up bro. I don't like that shit. They be fucking on my gym time. January, and February, January, and February are the biggest, busiest time for Gold's Gym, man. Not no more. For gyms around the gym, world. Say gyms. Gold's Gym doesn't exist. Oh, okay, so. okay. For gyms around the world, though. You know I see that. Yeah. January, and February. So, uh, shout out to everybody though, bro. That's about all I had. God damn, for this week. We got the legends. We gave them some news. We talked about 2017 mm-hmm. and we talked about 1996. We talked about the world. Talked about everything. Mm-hmm. We shot some shots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rap radar. Mm-hmm. I don't even know why I'm shooting shots. I just feel like we'll do a bit better. We need y'all, job. I mean, I wouldn't mind taking that job. We need it. They got some guests that I know we'll got there and have more fun with. You know, but they got a little bit. Right. Pause. Okay. But, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. That's about it, bro. Anything yeah. else before we get the fuck about it here today? I mean, I ain't really got nothing left, you know. No, nothing left, man. Ain't nothing left, folk. You feel me? Cool. Ain't nothing left. Say. Nothing's left, say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got a piss. So, uh, that's about it, man. We'll Yo. see y'all motherfuckers next week. Oh, not next week. We're going to stop saying that week. We'll see uh-huh. y'all next episode, motherfucker. Next episode. Be it. Tune in. We out.